the salesperson doesn't know their inventory, walked into work this morning, it's probably sitting down, they're on their 19th cup of coffee, fifth energy drink, and they're having a conversation about football. And then literally, I call a paying client and I wanna know about a car. It's like, it's like right out the gate, you go on to qualify, haven't built a relationship with me. This is 20 years ago uh, selling, okay? I watch people not build relationships with people all the time now, and it's ultra transactional, and customers are sick of it. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy Elliott. In this video today, I'm gonna be calling a couple of car dealerships. You guys know that when I call car dealerships, we always see how well these sales guys do. Now, what we'll find is one of two things. Number one, we'll find someone that's been watching my training, and they're gonna be badass or they're gonna be little duds. Let's make the call. Thank you for calling. To ensure the highest level of customer care, this call may be recorded. Okay guys, here we go. For calling Volkswagen, how may I direct your call? Yeah, I was calling to get some information on a used vehicle. Uh, you were interested in purchasing a used vehicle? Yes. Okay, let me get someone to help you, one moment. Okay, receptionist. She's handing me off now to the used car department. We'll see what happens. The life of a customer. Hello? Hey, thank you for calling. We'll check it out. Yeah, I was calling to get some information on a vehicle. Absolutely. Which one were you looking at? Um, 2016 Volkswagen Jetta. Absolutely. And who am I talking to? My name is Andy. Randy. And are you specifically looking for the 16 Jetta or something in the price range or budget? Um, I was calling to get some information on 2016 Jetta with 87,000 miles. Yeah, absolutely. We just took that one in. And what's the best? I just want to make sure the car is still here. What's the best number I can call you back at? It shouldn't take me long. Take me a couple of minutes. And uh, I'll just find out if the Jetta's still here and give you a call right back. Okay, cool. Yeah, now I'm, I'm actually buying a car. Okay. I'm actually buying a car down the road. So it... Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, so of can you let me know? I mean, right now, like, I'm, that's why oh, I called you. Absolutely. Yeah, give yeah. me two minutes. My name is Ed. I'll call you right back. Yeah, I, oh, number one, I don't, I don't need you to call me back. Did you not walk your inventory this morning? It's yeah. It's train, so car come and go, but I'll, I'll touch it. Uh, if you want me to tax you back, I can tax you back. Okay, do you not know if you have the car? We we don't know if the car is, is you know, good to go or wholesale or sold. But it's on your web. That's it's why. on your. It's on your website. Did you walk your inventory this morning? Everything is on our website. So including the car that we, it doesn't check out and we wholesale. So. So even if a car is. Even, I, even, I definitely, I, I, I definitely will find out for you. So even if a car can't be sold, it would still be on your yes, website. It's still on the website. Yeah, the first day it come in, it will be on the website. Yes, sir. Okay, this doesn't sound like a very professional place. So I can find out, do my walk and find out, or we just part way. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. If you have a car dealership or if you have a company, I wanna tell you this, a lot of people don't know what their people are saying. Okay, because I get it, you're running a company, you're super busy, but you wanna increase your profits, you wanna make more money. I don't care if you're in the car business, I don't care what industry, and if you got a team and you wanna train them to be great, this is your opportunity, okay? Below in the description box, right below in this YouTube video, there's a description box that says, coach and train with Andy. I'd love for you to do me a favor. Go down there, answer about eight questions, fill in your name, your phone number. I will personally reach out to you in the next 24 hours. If you need help with your team, I'd love to talk with you. If you need help as an individual in your sales, I would love to talk to you. Let's kill it, crush it, guys. Fill that out and I'll reach out to you. Let's get back to the video. Okay, let's part ways. Thank you, buddy. Okay, all right, thanks for calling. Okay, so number one, listen, obviously, like, you know, this is a company, right? And, and the company hires this person. And this person walked into work this morning. They probably have about 50 cars in inventory, okay? They probably get on average a couple cars a day. Inventory doesn't turn, you know, too fast, especially in a smaller store like a Volkswagen store. This salesperson doesn't know their inventory, walked into work this morning. It's probably sitting down. They're on their 19th cup of coffee 
fifth energy drink and they're having a conversation about football. And then literally I call a paying client and I wanna know about a car. And then he just basically says, in the beginning, he started out by saying, I said, hey, I'm calling about that 27 or 2016 Jetta. And he goes, are you looking for something in that price range? Is this about budget? Um, are you looking for anything else? It's like immediately he's trying to qualify me, okay? Like you gotta remember this, okay? Hey, no problem, 2016 Jetta. You know, he said, hey, we just got it in. It's a really nice one. It's like, it's like right out the gate, you go on to qualify, have not built a relationship with me. This is 20 years ago uh, selling, okay? Rule number one, okay? I watch people not build relationships with people all the time now, and it's ultra transactional, and customers are sick of it, okay? So that's the first thing he was, ultra transactional. And then he was like, yeah, I don't know if I can sell that car. I need to go see if it's here. Let me go check it out. It might already be sold. He told me like it could be four things. Well, he just doesn't know what's going on. Number one, he's not an expert. He's not a professional, he's not a pro. I'm gonna ask every single one of you, right? And comment below right now. We hate car dealerships because of this. Hey guys, what's going on? Andy Elliott. I know you know Jason Miller, Worldwide BDC. Super important. If you're seeing this right now, it's because you're a winner. You want to go to the next level. You want to blow up your company. You want to make more money, all right? I love it. Well, let's get down to it. He made a bet with me. He goes, listen, anybody that signs up on this. By the way, sign up means no money exchanges hands. Yeah. Okay? They're going to reach out to you. You're going to fill out the information on the link below. They're going to reach out to you. Number one, they're going to freaking make more calls, more texts. Everything that you've always wanted your dream team to do, internet or BDC, they're going to take care of it. But they're also going to add something. They're literally going to sell five cars out of your service drive for free. They're also going to do the internet BDC thing. And it's all for free. So you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. And what you see is integrity, his pride, the way he takes care of his family, the way that he loves his team, but the way that he guarantees to get results and do it ethically. You're going to be blown away. So guys, click on the link below. Jason, we appreciate you. Appreciate it. Let's change some lives. We got you guys. We'll be in touch soon. Make sure you fill out your information, email, phone number, full name. We'll reach out to you. Come Let's on. kill it. We hate buying anything because of this, but if this guy would have done a job, good job. Hey, yeah, 2016 Jetta, yeah, no problem. Number one, one to 10, it's an 11. It's literally, you know, eight years old right now, but I touched it this morning, it's got 87,000 miles. Look for 2016 and 87,000 miles in eight years, that's literally 10,000 miles a year. It's really been underdriven. Listen, here's what I'm gonna go do. It sounds like you're looking for a vehicle in a, in a nice price range. It's obviously still on our website, so it's probably not sold. It sounds like you're local. Are you down the road? Where are you at? Is this gonna be something where you wanna come in and take a look at it before you purchase it? Or would you be buying if we deliver it? Because if you're gonna come in and look at it, you know, I'm gonna get your name, I'm gonna get your phone number, I'm gonna get your information, but I just love to grab the keys and I'll pull it up front so you can come in and touch it, feel it, smell it, make sure you love it, and in the end, it's your decision. Does that sound fair? What time can you make it in? Can't wait to meet you. It's like, it's like that, that's how winners talk. This wasn't a winner conversation. When I told him, when he said that his car was on the website, right? But it could be wholesale, like it's not available for sale. And I said, well, that sounds unprofessional to put a car on the website to get me to call, but it's not available to be sold. And he goes, look, let's just part ways. What does that mean? That means that this place I wouldn't do business with. So every day, guys, I pick different places to call. I love you guys. You guys know what I do for a living. I teach human excellence. I teach salespeople to be the best, give the best customer service. Yet every day, I see companies like this one that want to increase their profits, that want to make more money, okay? That want to, that want to kill it. But I'm willing to bet that no one will ever even know that this salesperson took my phone call and had that conversation with me. And I'll bet the dealership, which paid, it spends, you know, 100,000 a month on advertising to get people to call in, they don't even know what their employees are saying to the customers. Pretty crazy, right? Anyways, this is why right now, it's never been easier to win because companies don't train their people. Guys, I love you. We'll see you in the next video.